this m the series of uh, drug overdose waves, we're in our fourth wave now, not our first, um, has changed the way society views addiction. Um, there's much more acceptance and awareness that anybody can be vulnerable to addiction under bad circumstances. And those bad circumstances, you know, they started in wave one with prescription opioids when someone had a surgery or an injury and was excessively prescribed these things. The second wave was when doctors got scared and pulled away the opioids and people turned to heroin. Um, that was already by 2014. Um, the third wave is now fentanyl. Um, in 2019, we saw this rush of this high potency um, artificial or uh, man-made drug um, rushing into um, the U.S. and other parts of the world. And we're in the fourth wave now where stimulants are being added to these, uh, cocaine, methamphetamine, and more potent amphetamines. So um, there's, there's much more societal awareness and acceptance and willingness for legislators to put money into the effort. Well, I, I think it starts with really understanding the crisis. Uh, I think that uh, many of the narratives that we've been sold about the opioid crisis relate to bad behavior by drug companies like Purdue Pharma and physician inattention to uh, prescribing in a more limited way. And, and those, are, those are true statements. But I think there are some real deep questions here that we have to understand if we're going to address the problem. One, I, I agree with, with the comments regarding shame, and there's a deep cultural piece to this uh, in our, our, our culture, but I think a lot of it relates to a, a brokenness in our healthcare system in several ways. Uh, you know, I think that I think we often are um, really in America, we're spending more on healthcare than any country in the world, and we're, we're not getting very good care, and that extends both to uh, it's a, we're, we have a system focused on late-stage intervention, and we don't put in preventative time to address issues around mental health. We don't, uh, we don't provide the same mental health support that many other developed countries provide. And so we have a lot of structural deficits that are leading to a situation of enormous pain, mental pain.